Welcome to Talk of the Town, and I'm your host, Ellen Barrett, and we are starting off our show today with Debbie Huff Tunison. Did I get the last name right? Yes, you did. I did, and you are the owner of Deborah's Frame Garden. Thank I am. you so much for being with us today. Well, thanks for having me. Now, I want to start off with, tell me a little about what's happening um, at the flower shop that's been there for 26 years, it sounds like, the Rose Cottage at 3, 3010 Atwood Avenue on Madison's East Side. Uh, well, the owners have really expanded their flower shop business, and so they yeah. expanded to two locations. And they invited me to bring my picture framing business into this location so we can keep the flower shop, um, have still have the flower shop in the neighborhood, and there's room for, for me as well. Awesome. So it's good for everybody. Yes. Kind of bringing something different to that store location while they're also expanding, which is great for yeah, them too. Yeah, it's really exciting. Awesome. I love it. I'm really happy for them. Yeah, for sure. And so what are some of the services offered at the Atwood Avenue Rose Cottage Florist and now with you there as well? Well, we have, there's always a full-time floor, uh, floral designer, an uh, uh, experienced floral I'm um, yeah. one of them. And... Um, you know, you can still come in and get your loose bouquet or mm -hmm. order something for a sympathy arrangement or make a quick corsage or, you know, and also still order things to be delivered. Or, and, and then with the addition of the custom framing, it's just additional, and art is just more things to, um, to offer. Yeah, awesome. So kind of sounds like, you know, customers can come in. Maybe you're thinking you're just coming in for a floral arrangement and you might leave with some more. Oh, yeah. It sounds like. It's kind of exciting, yeah. So what are some of the benefits of having these two separate businesses kind of come together in one space? Well, it's, it's sharing the... It's nice to share a space. It's kind yeah. of an efficient way to, you know, if the flower shop hours are done, I can continue with the framing hours and, you know, expand more, um, have more availability to the customers and the neighbors. Um, one person can come in for, like, a, a mixed bouquet and leave going, hey, I have a, a print I bought at that, at that art show last mm -hmm. summer. I'm going to come back and frame that. So it's like, and then also somebody might come in for my Moxleic workshops, and then they'll leave with some fresh flowers. So now it's you, kind of a win-win-win. You said Moxleic. Yeah. Now what is that? A Moxleic is, um, it's a painting, and wow. then I'm using my leftover picture framing glass. So okay. it's just clear glass over a painted image, and, and then we grout it. And when you grout it, then you sealed it, and that's why it's kind of a nice thing for outdoor art, house numbers. Oh, um, wow. And here's another. My husband says, you're an artist. Stop making numbers and do a painting. <laughs> so I listened to him, and we came up with things more like this. So it's painting underneath. Yeah, this is just a painting. And then glass on top, mm -hmm. and then you're just putting in, yeah. you're grouting I, it. Right, I cut the glass to kind of wow. fit the images and the pieces and then grout it and paint the grout. That is so cool. Thank you. So I like that, mosaic. So yes. kind of like I had a to play with the name. mosaic. Right. I like it. Very cool. That's yeah. so fun. And would you say, is that easier than creating a mosaic and trying to deal with like, you know, different pieces of glass? I've had people say it's easier and okay. you can make your own shape that way. That's true. Um, I've had people, but also people are like, oh, I have to cut all this glass right. to fit it. But it's, um, if you're used to cutting glass, Right. That's fine if you're not. So something can, just different maybe too. Yeah, it is something, just a different way to do something. Yeah. And I'm using old cabinet doors. So. Oh, very cool. Oh, I didn't even notice that. That is yeah. so cool. It's from Terra. What a cool so. way to reuse, you know. Mm -hmm. Right, because you can't recycle picture or lead or picture like glass or window glass right. has lead in it. So um, I'm keeping it out of the landfill. Oh. Very cool. And I know you mentioned, too, that you do custom picture framing. So I do, yes. tell me about your experiences as a custom picture framer. Oh, well, I've been framing since... Um, in Racine, I started in like um, 1989, and I worked with a really amazing woman who taught me all kinds of really cool things. And oh. then I moved to Muskego, and um, well, I, I worked in a McGuanago at another little picture framing place and a couple other places like that. And then I had a job where I needed to stay there for it. I was like being a kitchen designer, and I sure. had to, um, I couldn't just leave and go to a picture framing job. Yeah. So I, my coworkers said, why don't you do it out of your home? So that I started as home-based. Oh, very cool. When I moved to Madison, I, um, my husband and I, our apartment got kind of small for a home-based business, so mm -hmm. I took a leap, and now I'm, you can find me at the Rose Cottage. Awesome, and I hear you do some classes, too, and workshops, mm -hmm. and we're going to run out of time here, oh, so we sure. can't go through all of oh, them. Oh, that's okay. But where can people reach out to you if they want to learn, you know, what workshops you do, and if they want to come try it out and even try a Moxaic? Oh, you could, you could reach me through Facebook or also my telephone number, or just drop in. And um, Wednesday, t tomorrow, actually, I'm going to be doing a, it's, it's going to be at the DeForest location at 627 North, South Main Street. Okay. And um, 
and like, like from five to seven, I'll be doing an artist demonstration of the mosaic. And so if anyone wants to actually pop in and take a look and see what they can do there, I'll be also offering classes for that location as well. I love it. Debbie Huff Tunison, thank you so much for being with us today, again with Deborah's Frame Garden. Thank you. And Talk of the Town will be back with more right after this.